Good morning, folks. Today we're going to be looking at a dangerous sunspot, three tropical systems in the eastern world, a major issue developing in astrophysics, and a study on atmospheric electric fields and major precipitation events. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, where things were calm except for an M-class solar flare around midnight UTC and a filament eruption off the south from just behind the incoming limb. We've got reasons to watch today with those sunspots in the massive snake-like plasma filament. And focusing on the flare we did have, if you didn't catch it the first time, I bet the 131 angstrom view here makes it much easier. Incoming sunspots, leading umbral cores and magnetic interaction produced that flare, and those are our top watch today. It's the grouping on the left, which has moderate size. And then, when we look at the magnetism of those sunspots, we can see how positive and negative polarities are mixing there on the right side of it, the lead. It's exactly where the flare came from, and we will keep watching. Folks, this is the West Pacific and South China Sea. We've got three systems here, and all are churning generally westward. Pacific system generally tracking west. Another one's going to hit the Philippines today, and the other is set to dive a bit southwest towards Vietnam. Eyes open. First up in the articles today is this one, and for veteran observers who have seen our examinations about how bad their NOVA models are, this one is their next door neighbor. There was already a discrepancy in the production ratio of iron and aluminum NOVA isotopes based on their models. Here they find that discrepancy is larger than they originally believed, meaning that the model problems they thought they had are actually just a little bit bigger. Up next, we're looking at atmospheric electric fields and heavy rain in Israel. They found what everyone else finds, that the electric field gradient is vastly higher when there's about to be a major rain event. This is similar to every other experiment and analysis, to the Saudi rainmaking efforts as well, and to the overall findings of solar and cosmic ray influence over cloud dynamics. If it's electric, it affects the weather. Folks, last night's Thanksgiving event at the ranch was awesome. Great to see so many of you. Our next two big events are the conference at the end of the month and the special event December 14th with Adrian D'Amico. Hope to see more of you out there. ObserverRanch.com We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.